What is an ore? By kscience.com Here is an ore, and an ore is a rock which contains enough metal to be extracted for profit. In this ore, the white part represents the rock, and the black part represents the metal. Now many rocks contain metal, and if the rock does not contain enough metal, so when it is extracted money is made, then it is not an ore. So an ore contains enough metal to extract for money. Two examples of ores are hematite, which is an iron oxide ore, and malachite, which is a copper carbonate ore. Here I'm drawing the structure of the earth, where this represents the core and mantle, and this represents the outer surface of the earth, the land and the ocean. This very thin layer of hard rock, which I'm colouring in black, is the crust. And this is where ores are found. Ores are found in the earth's crust. Ores can contain metals found as uncombined elements. This diagram represents a nugget of gold. And because gold is an unreactive metal, it is found as an uncombined element by itself. Metals which are found like this, they are called metals found in their native state. Metals found in their native state are always unreactive metals. Ores can also contain reactive metals found combined with non-metals. So for example, this particle diagram represents iron chemically combined with sulfur, forming an iron sulfide compound. So if we wanted the iron, we'd have to extract it from its compound using chemical reactions. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here I'm drawing layers of rock in the Earth's crust. And on the surface of Earth, we have urban settlements represented by these buildings. And normally, the ore would be buried underground in the Earth's layers. So to extract the ore from the ground, we'd need to use diggers where this ore would be mined from the ground. Now, if a company were to mine the ore, they need to ask themselves, is the ore worth mining? So let's say this woman represents the owner of the mining company. For her to know if the ore is worth mining, she would need to ask these three critical questions. Is it easy or difficult to extract the metal from its ore? Does the ore contain enough metal to make a profit? And is the metal needed by society now and in the future? So if the metal is easy to extract and there's enough of it in the ore to make a profit, and the metal is needed by society now and in the future, then the easy decision is definitely to mine that ore. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This diagram represents an ore which is concentrated with a lot of copper. Because this is a concentrated copper ore, therefore the copper is easily extracted and purified. This represents the easily extracted copper compound. Now in this example, I'm drawing an ore where there is a lot less copper. Therefore we say there is a low concentration of copper in the ore. Because there is a low concentration of copper in the ore, special steps need to be taken to be able to extract the copper from the ore. The first stage is to crush the ore into a powder of copper and rock. So to begin with, the ore is crushed into a powder of copper and rock. In the next stage, we need a beaker which is filled with water and we put the powder of copper and rock in the water inside of the beaker. A chemical is then added, which repels the copper compound from the water and forces the copper compound upwards. 
So the powder of copper and rock has been mixed with water and the chemical. And we already know the chemical repels the copper compound from the water. So in the next stage, the beaker has now been left for a while. And we can see from the diagram, the colored substance at the bottom represents how the rocky bits sink to the bottom. And this chemical has caused the copper compound to be repelled by the water, forcing the copper compound to move upwards, forming a froth of copper on the surface of the water. So the copper compound has been repelled where the copper compound floats to the top as a froth. In the final stage, we now have the froth of copper compound, which was once in a low concentration in the ore. The froth of copper compound is scraped off the top. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.